Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound KIO. Now, just as a trick, guys, if you see that you have an ionic compound with three or more different elements, you know that you have at least one polyatomic ion in there. So it's always easiest to identify the polyatomic ion and then work from there. However, polyatomic ions are never, ever, ever, ever on the periodic table. You have to memorize them. So I wrote out the, the polyatomic ion we're going to be using here. So just use flashcards or write them down and just memorize them because they will come back all throughout your chemistry class. IO is always a negative one charge, and that is always called hypoiodite. And I see it right here. Here's IO. That's hypoiodite. The element that's left is potassium, which is K. And if we look at where potassium is on the periodic table, it's right here. It's in group one. All of group one are metals except for hydrogen. So K, potassium, is a metal. Now we got everything accounted for, so let's start uh, naming. The metal name is always going to stay exactly the same. So K for potassium is just going to be potassium. So I'll write down potassium. And then we have a polyatomic ion. Those names always stay exactly the same. That's why you got to memorize them, okay? So IO is hypoiodite. Now, since this, this is a ionic compound, just make sure, you know, do we need a Roman numeral or not? But since potassium is not in your transitional block, it's not part of the transition metals, you don't need a Roman numeral. So we are done. Easy as that, right? You just got to memorize the polyatomics. So KIO is potassium hypoiodite. And that's it. Hope for this help. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Check out our other videos as well. We have physics and math help and obviously chemistry. So go check it out. All right. I will see you in the future lessons. Bye-bye.